time. So once again, I'm going to go over this whole thing. Right now, I have nothing done in the background. Uh, hello, I cut them out. Nice, good reference, a lot of detail. I'll put these up here. These are going to be really faint, off in the distance. Tapping this on there. Super light. I'll get a little more powder ground faint. Background hills are going to be really light. I'm going to have like uh, more distinct hills, almost a silhouette, in the middle ground. So if you want like a silhouette, what I'd have is light backgrounds. One I'm putting on right now. I'll have another little hill right here. Okay. Got the background of the hill. <clears throat> now I'm going to erase. Erase some highlights in there, but not like tons. This is kind of a rounded part of the eraser. All the contours of the lights over here. I don't understand why we're so slow. Watch this. It's so fast. I'll right, look at the reference where the highlights are. Right, don't make anything up. Make it up. They'll look like high school work. Reason is, you're in high school. So that makes sense. To make it look pro, you have to follow reference. It's professional. So uh, here I go. Hill highlights. Once again, if you need help with hills, and you're not watching, you're not going to get help with hills, wait for the YouTube. All right, here, I'm going to do a little more. Super simple. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This overlap, kind of cloud and cloud action. And hill on hill action, that's also hot. And come over here. Okay. Background hills are finished. Yay! Next. Silhouette. One trick you, uh, you guys can do is to take, throw it down, oop, go ahead for a little bit, go ahead the audience. All right, so right here, I'm going to have this thing, a little third, it's going to put over here in this third. <clears throat> Raise it up, come down. So all I did is I printed out, I said a silhouette of a factory. I printed it out. And then, uh, so I've got my factory done for the rough part. Now I'm going to add some highlights to it and shadows. All right, to make that connect, tracing paper is right over here to work at home. I would recommend that you guys uh, take some tracing paper, some pieces of it. All right, so now I'm going to rip off some sheets. Turtles. Turtles. Heel. All right, so this is going to be my foreground, middle ground, I mean. Dark silhouette. Come up here a little bit. I'll blend this into the factory, so it's going to be kind of like a lot of this. I'll come down on this side a little bit. And the middle ground won't have nearly as much um, detail to it. And I have the streaks right here. I'll fade it out, go in horizontal strokes, <clears throat> kind of lightly. My foreground's gonna be actually kind of lighter than this even. All right, so I got a little factory action going on here. Horizontal strokes again. All right, and once again, you guys can seriously do this. You can seriously finish. All right, so I got the uh, middle ground blocked out. Now I'm going to go back into the eraser. Erase out the highlights, because that's what we have to do. Start off the base values. Erase out the highlights, add the shadows. Come back in here, add some highlights, but not too much, though. It's going to be more or less my silhouette area. Some highlights, but not too much. I'll leave it pretty dark for contrast. Another little oop here. And as I come down, I'll show this is going to be like a flat land kind of thing. <clears throat> Rub this in. 
some highlights here. I'm so it's got a middle ground right here. Highlights on the top, separating this from the silhouette zone. And coming in here. Well, more contrast on that really dark tree. And once again, without leaves, so it can be fast. So if you do like leaves, it takes a long time and it's actually harder to make it look good. Not worth the work. Don't recommend trees with leaves in the foreground. Be a pain it'll look kind of smudgy. Okay. All my strokes are horizontal on this one. And we're doing this. Watch, watch this. Come in here. So it's super light. I'm not using like a tons of pressure. Some of the racing strokes you can't even see. Easy, 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 hazy. Lighten that up. A little deal here, a little hoop to heel, a little bump. Okay, next, a little smoke. <clears throat> smoke action, actually, actually a little more trees. I'll do some tr trees in the hills back here. Blending stump, super light though. Just establish some scales so you can see how small they are. Little tiny trees off in the distance. So adorable. So once again, if you drew all this with a pencil, it would take forever. Powder graphite technique, just like here. Powder graphite basic values. Raise up the highlights, add the shadows, and shabam. You're done. Over here, I'll add some even taller ones. Oh, kind of a big one right here. Nice big fat boy. Okay. All right, so that part's done. With smokes, there's a few smoke. I'll start with the blending stump at first. For details, then I'll go to a kind of fatty kind of thing. So I'm starting to do that. So the uh, simple uh, powder graphite blending stump. It's not darker than the buildings, about the same value. All right, scumble, scumble. And then Caroline, I think he wanted smoke. Let's try to do that real quick. <clears throat> now, roll up kind of a little, uh, roll this up to a little ball. Hold it over. Roll it up like that. It's like a small blending stone. This also works for tornadoes. Same kind of process. Right here, I'm going to go up. It will get wider and not quite as dark just because it's dissipating the atmosphere. Oh, yeah, I'll do a storm cloud on this one and a tornado. A little combination of things. I'll kind of blur out over here. Hazy, 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 and then it's gonna get caught by the wind, it's gonna blow over a little bit. So it's like really defined, almost a source for the way. So the smoke is done on the factory. All right, storm clouds are next. Storm cloud coming up. Happy, focus. Okay, storm clouds. Yeah, it's on. What's that? What about it? Oh, I see your sign. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. All right, so storm clouds. <clears throat> really, it's going to be like a couple different phases. Right here, a little small bit of tissue. And I'll come all the way over here. I'll turn this into a tornado. 
super dark, kind of solid-ish. Small details later. Just like basic values here. I'm going to go a little darker. Can you have too much contrast? Hell no. No way can you have too much contrast, I'll tell you what. It's hazy so far. I'll fade it all the way across. As I come down, I'll have this zip over here. More of a corner kind of thing. Scumble, scumble. Different directions. Okay. Now what I do is I get a smaller one. The one I had before. This, watch this. All details. It's like the white clouds, only we're not outlining or erasing. Only adding powder graphite. I'll eventually go into uh, blending stuff for smaller details. Super small here. Oh, break apart guy right here. So only instead of white, they go black on it. And you don't want that too big, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of your light values in your sky. And paint, go pretty cool. I you actually do want to have a lot of light stuff left. Okay. We're here on the way down. More little jimmies. A little break part guy over here. Oh, erase up some highlights, but not too much. Uh, so kind of like so adding shadows, I can hit the white ones. Now we go back in with the eraser and just add in some of the lighter ones instead of adding shadows. That's one dirty eraser. Start with the line, we'll erase. And when you guys do it, you can't go this fast. If you go this fast, it'll look terrible. Don't try this at home. Well, I mean, like, try the techniques, just not the speed. Now, I got a little cloud in there, so the cloud has more contrast to the base. Super small strokes, so I'm not doing big strokes at all. Could add more, maybe a few more. I'll do the tornado next. Go back in and add some more detail to it. Okay, tornado. A little more of an interest here. With that, I'll start kind of big. It starts way up here in the top. Kind of curving the angle here a little bit. Curve, curve, curve all the way down. It's going to get skinnier and skinnier. direction. I don't like tons. Just curvy, curvy. All right, now we'll get some dust. What we'll turn it? Let's hit. Let me pick a bunch of debris. My little tornado dust cloud. out some highlights on that as well. So we start with the dark version. Come in on one side where the light source is. I think it's on the other side, but that's okay. It's not my project. Some bands of light, but not like tons. Just a little bit to show something. Indicate what's happening, but don't go crazy. Highlight down here. Blending stump. I'll come in here with the blending stump, add some more details to it. Down here at the bottom, especially. Make it look like it's whipping up a little cow. 
This cow got caught in a tornado. It's being all carried off into the sky. There's right there, followed by a bunch of little hamsters. Like little dots, because they're hamsters. Plain and simple, go back in the tornado, add some lines in there. Not a crazy amount of lines. Um, get the direction of the turning point there. All right, now dust that off. Tons of graphite everywhere. Okay. Now, silhouettes of trees. I'm going to do that. In this mid range here, so right now it's kind of bland. Come in here. I'm trying to press too hard so it doesn't get like uh, all crazy in here. If I went too dark, it looked weird like it's floating. A little tree there, maybe a larger one up close. I'll make all these dead. Dead, creepy trees. The reference I'm using now is David Casper Friedrich. He's great for dead trees. You can Google him. A little stumps on the side there, maybe a little branch coming off here. Dead little nub. Oh, that's kind of cute. Some little stumps. Blend that out. Have a little bit darker value what it's sitting on. Shade that in a little bit. More dead trees off the distance here. Contrast, details, information. You don't want it too simple, otherwise it'll look made up. It's like hills. Hills are the same thing. The more details you put in the hills, change quite a bit. The more it looks like a hill. You simplify it, it'll look like a little bump crack mountain. Like two little bumps. All the smaller ones off on the other side of the hill over here. You can see it. Small one here. Now there's some small trees in the background. Um, yeah, they won't really hit the wind, so not yet. And with no leaves, they're not going to really uh, fluctuate that much. With the tornado, it'll kick out around the perimeter. Technically, they'd be going away from the tornado. Theoretically. Okay. We got the background in that now. Back to the foreground over here. Time. Okay, so now it's a little shrubby things going on here in the bottom. Just check little fluffy ball things, rubber dubs, and I'll erase out some highlights. Do a bigger one down here. Monster shrub. Texture on the dirt. Come in here with this, and I'll uh, mix it up a little bit. I'll wad it up and to create dirt. What you want to do, take tissue, wad it up, and kind of smash it around. You want it kind of splotchy, it'll look more like dirt, but it's smooth, it'll look like grass. I could show you guys how to do grass too. I'll turn that into grass, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna do it up close grass. So with grass, what you want to do is have like a paper towel, make a hair maker more or less. Once in, this is a grass show coming up. <clears throat> How to do grass. Whew, I'm getting sweaty. Okay. All right, so here's grass. Wadded up, it's a hair maker. Ripped up pretty well. Dip it in powdered graphite. And let's get people's close up grass. Jack that in there. Make doing grass. Watch this. Flick it up a little bit. That doesn't look like grass, Mr. Stevens. I'm not done. It'll look like grass when I'm finished. Back here where it's sugar, I'm going to barely tap it in there. So here, take this. 
lick it up a little bit. Back here, just kind of like tap it. You see, I don't want it to look long. Down here, I'll do more grass on this side. Flick it up. With a hair maker, paper towel. The cheaper the paper towel is, the better you're going to be. Uh, now, I'll take an exacto knife. I said I'll take an exacto knife. Dang it. Must continue to show. Okay, but this, if you cut a bunch of stripes out in the eraser, it'll be pretty good. If not, you have to do this. Just little tiny blades of grass. Just the corners. Down here, though, I can do like longer strips of it. And tap some of that powder graphite off. Tall grass here. Smaller grass in the distance. Details to the weeds. Large blades. Small blades over here. Righty. And up next, I'll show you guys how to do a tree up close. It's kind of cool. All right, so this detail to the shrub. Come here. Add some small little leaves to it, so it like a blurry blob. Add some highlights to it. All right. A little tiny details on there. So once again, start off with the blob and then adding tiny leaves going different directions. You don't need a million leaves, just a few of them. Yeah, people will think the whole thing looks good when most of it looks kind of crappy except for like 10 good leaves. It's funny how that works. Your brain wants to make them look real. So all you have to do is indicate some of the little leaves and the whole thing comes together. And that could be more like dirt over here on this side. So I'll come in here, we'll do a path. I love paths. I'm addicted to them. So with the path, dirt, come in here, smaller, smaller. Top line here, going over the top. Then I'll zip this around. All right. Smash that in there a little bit. Eddy of texture. As it comes up next to the grass, I'll take the same. Carefully cut out a template. The grass up close, take this and wipe that up. It'll look like the edge, like you're looking into the grass, more or less. So I'll get the powder graphite again. Alright, for my nice little template I got here. a little bit more on some of these parts here. Take the shag on the way back. More on this side. Some on this side. Tippy tap, tap a roof. Cut a little path. Kind of lame looking, but that's okay. Yes. Add some little rocks to it. Race it out. Here, I'll get some long strands. Okay. Now I got the path in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll gonna take a layout pencil. I'll add some darker grass. Skinny little leaves. Weed right here. Contrast that. Still moist. Okay, spotlight. More grass blades here, so pimp out this. So once again, you do a few good looking leaves or 
weeds. Well, like most of those good. Only doing a few good ones. Okay. That is it for now. So that is a uh, stone cloud factory. Glass, little ground trees.